All right, where do we need to move? Northwest diagonal nope. Not three. Or, nope. All right, where's that one? Six diagonals northwest. Three milliseconds faster. Go, um, do, uh, five jelly beans up. Sounds delicious. There we go. So guys, big thank you to our sponsor, Simply Safe. I just moved into this new house and I needed Simply Safe to secure it. We were able to set up the whole entire house in about an hour. We got doorbell cameras, we've got cameras over the shoulder, we've got motion sensor, we've got door sensors, we've got keypads, and they got you covered. Super simple to do and pretty cheap, about 50 cents a day. So, Simply Safe is an incredibly effective, reliable home security system that will make sure your home is safe. You just order it online or over the phone, it's delivered right to your home, and you set it up yourself in under an hour. That's pretty quick. From there, your home is professionally monitored 24 7. If anything happens, they'll make sure the police get called. Visit simplysafe.com forward slash Warrior Poet Society to learn more. Daniel Defense had a goal with the Delta 5 Pro, and that was to bring us the advantages we'd get from a high dollar custom rifle build, but at a production cost. Now, whether they pulled it off, I don't know. I'm not a long range competition guru, and I don't have a harem of custom built long guns to compare it to. So understand, while I will act as a subject matter expert on some videos on this channel, in the world of long range precision shooting, I am a total amateur, but I have done my homework and I can cover features and specs well enough as a motivated long range hobbyist. In this video, we'll be covering the specs and features of the Delta 5 Pro, as well as a list of the pros and cons. That'll be my subjective opinion, but it may be worth something to someone out there. But it has reached the point in the video where it's time for an epic cool guy montage. So hit it production team. Go. Now. Or make me look stupid. The Daniel Defense Delta 5 Pro is a long range bolt action rifle with the ability to change out barrels so you can switch between 308, 65 Creedmoor, and 6mm. The Pro MSRPs for $2,499.99, so you can spend that penny on whatever you want. So it can be used in production PRS competition matches, which have a maximum gun cost of $2,500. Really squeaked it in there. Again, that penny is yours. Do whatever you want with it. This one's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, has a snazzy coyote tan Cerakote job that they did at the factory. This one also comes with their thicker varmint barrel, which is going to make a little bit stiffer barrel, give me a little bit extra accuracy accuracy presumably and will absorb heat a little bit better to reduce thermal drift. So there's an overview and we will start with specs and features right here at the stock. Stock has all kinds of points of adjustment. Your cheek riser is real cool and it's spring loaded here so if I undo this it's not just going to fall but I can adjust this up and I can also adjust this by loosening these two lugs here be able to move it this way and that. Pretty darn impressive. There's how I measure. Put a knuckle in and do that. Also, by loosening here and here and turning this wheel, I can adjust my length of pull here. And this one right here. Mm, really tighten that down. Will allow me to lift up. So you notice that all the action's happening way up here. So being able to lift this up higher so I can really kind of get behind that recoil more, or if I want to drop this down a little bit here so that I can really put my hand here if I'm anchoring, wherever you like to be able to make adjustments. Uh, this allows you max ability to adjust. So I don't really care who you are. You can really set this up 
uh, the way that you want it. I also like that it has this hard stop here so that if you're using a bag rest, you can put that in there. It'll kind of hook in there and it's not going to be moving quite as much. Moving up, one of the big features that differentiates this Delta 5 Pro from the Delta 5 is they went to a chassis system. I really like it because it looks like a space gun from the future, so yay for chassis designs. This one though, oddly enough, when I saw it, I'm kind of like an AR-15 pistol grip. Hey, the AR-15 grips don't go on long range guns. What's the matter with you? But it's kind of growing on me. The very first couple mags, I didn't really like it. The grip angle was just a little bit different on a long range gun. I kind of wanted a little bit more of a vertical grip right there. But the beauty of this is it's so easy to switch this out. I know exactly why they did it. It was pretty clever, I guess, because you can easily switch this out for whatever you want. Highly customizable. It's one screw and you're good to go. All right, moving up, you come to this little knob sticking out. Some people call this a gas pedal, especially on a pistol. Pistol. If you have a little bit of a step right there, you can really manage recoil well. This is a bit more for like a thumb rest. And people call it a thumb rest too. Put your thumb here so that when you're shooting, it keeps your whole hand on this side with some place where you can index to. So then you can pop up and run that bolt as you need to. Folks that are familiar with shooting something other than long range guns are surprised when they see shooters doing this instead of this. And the reason why is so that you can quickly and easily access that bolt and fall back into place. So real cool feature is ambidextrous. So you can just with one uh, bolt right there, move it over to the other side. Now everything's been good so far, but as we move up to the bolt, it's a little bit of a grab bag of yay and nay. Uh, if I pull it out, you'll see they've got their three lug locking system. That's all fine. This locks in nice and tight. Uh, when it's locked in place. However, when it's back, you'll see there's a lot of play in this bolt. Now, this came out of the PRS world where they really wanted to be able to have a lot of play in there in case you had a bunch of dirt or grime. You can continue to run that bolt no matter what. But if you really wanted to run your bolt fast and say you weren't pressing it straight forward and you had just a slight little variance where it's kind of here, you'll notice it kind of locks up. See that where it's back and back and see how it kind of hangs up and that's it if I'm any bit off on running it straight if I'm a little bit to the side kind of hangs up so if you like to really run your bolt fast and smooth you probably won't like this very much I certainly don't but other people who are incredible shooters don't mind it at all they think it's a good thing a really really good shooter designed this thing and they did it on purpose so just know everything you do always has pros and cons. For my part, I don't really like that. Now here's something that's a con for everyone. When they sent me this bolt, it wasn't catching each round. So when I was going to extract it from the bolt, it sometimes wasn't picking up the round to extract it. So I contacted Daniel Defense on this and they notified me that some of their very first guns had a weak extractor spring. And so it wasn't really able to have the force to really hook that round. They immediately swapped me out for a new bolt and I have not had the problem since. So though I had a problem with my bolt, I don't think you will have with theirs. They immediately fixed the problem. Great customer service, but it deserves deserves mention because my gun didn't come to me flawless. That was an issue and I wasn't able to extract rounds consistently. The knob is uh, removable, so if you want to put something textured on there, that's fantastic. I really like this one as is. It's a 60 degree angle so that you can really get up on that real fast to be able to do that throw. It's right there for you. I really like that. The mag release is a bit of a paddle and it's ambidextrous design, so you basically push down here or push down here and the mag falls free. There's a hard stop here. I'd like this to be a little bit longer and this is designed so that if you're jamming into something right here, it's not hitting in the mag magwell, which could theoretically cause issues because if you push on the magwell, well now it can change a bit of the angle of that. Now you don't have a good clear pickup uh, of the round and it can kind of nose dive in uh, instead of feeding properly into the chamber. I like the fact that there is a hard stop there. I would like it to be a little bit longer. A lot going on here at the handrail. Immediately you see this bridge here on top. This is so that you can do any clip on thermal or night vision devices. So it's there. And then this scalloped cutout right here allows the bell of a bigger objective lens for your scope to be able to really cut down in. This is pretty cool and it's important because if you have a big piece of glass here with that bigger objective lens here it can sit down lower and not be impeded. A lower optic is really cool. This gun came with a 20 MOA base already built into it so that you can have a little bit better adjustment on your elevation. 
The rail also comes with M-lock slots on the top, on the sides, and on the bottom, and I have a Magpul bipod right here mounted into the M-lock. That's not the cool way to use this gun. The cool way to use it is the Arca-lock rail right here, and that allows you to be able to put a bipod or other Arca-lock accessories and very easily slide it to and fro. So I'm gonna upgrade at some point when I feel froggy and wanna buy some more stuff. It is a cool feature because if you are shooting prone long range and you want max stability, I like to run my bipod all out farther. But if say I'm around uh, structures or vehicles or I want to get high angle shooting, being able to with just a switch on the Arcalock design to be able to throw that switch and pull this bipod closer, now it's gonna allow me to really get better angles. And if I needed to mount my gun on a surface where I just didn't have enough real estate, for instance, right here, if I wanted to rest on this table, I couldn't do it because the bipod falls off. So being able to pull that closer in, I could be able to use this table and let it hold my weight more. And really, I just, I just can't do it. I don't have enough real estate right here because my bipod's mounted way out here. As well as the M-lock spots, I'll also have some QD points right here. This one's reinforced with steel, which is awesome. And I can move this steel QD to say here or on the other side, I've got a couple other places. So wherever I'm using my QD detachment, I can uh, plus that up with some stronger steel so that this isn't eventually gonna wear out over time. I've also got some QD points here on the stock. So for mounting things for QD, you're good to go. Now this video is about the Delta 5 Pro. However, sitting atop it is this beautiful optic that if I don't mention, I'll see it in the comments. What is the optic? What is the optic? This is a Vortex Razor HD. It's a 4.5 to 27 magnification with a 56 millimeter objective lens. I love these optics. It's also got a Vortex mount. So if you're looking for a good piece of glass, Vortex Razor is a fantastic way to go. Price is always going to be scary with really good glass. Don't be afraid to spend more on the glass than you do on the gun. That's a common thing in precision shooting. All right, let's move to the barrel. And this is where Daniel Defense picks up a huge competitive advantage over others. Now I'm thinking back to visiting Daniel Defense's factory a few years ago. And when I did, just amazing machinery. I saw their coal hammer forge process, which is quite remarkable. But basically what they're doing is they're forging the bore, the chamber, and the contouring all at the same time. This makes a barrel that's extremely concentric as well as very, very accurate. Now this is the secret sauce of how they're making a half MOA guarantee. That's right, it's a half MOA guarantee. If you're shooting a bigger group, I could almost guarantee you it's you, it's not the gun. By the way, shooting a half MOA group, that is extremely good shooting of like a I don't know, man. It's just going to depend on how much coffee I've got in my system, some atmospherics, how uh, jumpy I'm feeling that day. But shooting a half MOA group for somebody, oh, that's tough. What that means is if you miss, it's probably you, not the gun. I think I liked all that interchange. That's good. That was good. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of sober, it's honest, it's humble. Barrel is also interchangeable. This one is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. However, you can switch out to a 6 millimeter if you're a PRS shooter. They seem to love that caliber. And uh, also 308 if you're more military. 308 was the king. And now SOCOM's really drifting more toward the 6.5 Creedmoor, which I think is awesome. I love the 6.5 Creedmoor. So whatever chamber blows your hair back, you're able to do that. I'd mentioned earlier in our overview that this is a thicker barrel. It's almost like a 0.9 inch, so much thicker. It's called their Varmint Barrel. It keeps the barrel a little bit stiffer. It absorbs heat a little bit better, so a thermal drift isn't gonna play in as much. And theoretically, it should give me just a hair more accuracy is my hope. Now moving out to the end, you see an Area 419 Hellfire muzzle brake. I'm not a big fan of brakes on precision rifles because I'm always thinking Warfighter context that was my old context and muzzle flash is a real bad deal that gets you killed and that means if you see a muzzle flash somewhere all enemy guns get trained on that bright light now competition shooters they give a crap about that no one's shooting back and their game is just hey i want to shoot something extremely far away and i want to do it very fast in which case muzzle brakes are awesome and this is a fantastic one when i'm shooting at any distance i can hold my reticle on target and this does such a good job in reducing felt recoil and muzzle lift that i'm able to really watch my shot the whole way through so i shoot the round leaves and my reticle stays on the target the whole time.
pretty remarkable, fantastic. So if you like brakes, this is a fantastic one and it comes with the Delta 5 Pro. So that right there, I'll do it for features, some additional nerd data, some specs. If you're out there, I, I said nerd, I mean it nicely. I'll throw it up on screen real quick here. You could pause it if you wanted to see it, but we're gonna move on to my pros and cons list. First pro, here it is, it looks cool. I know some of you will pretend, you'll lie to yourself and you'll lie to me that a cool looking gun isn't important. You're like, it's a tool. I've, I've said this too, it's a tool. But hey, you're a tool if you don't think guns, cool looking long guns are important. This looks like a space gun from the future, Roger, and that's important to me. It looks really, really cool. If, uh, yeah, it, it's important that it works really well, the ergonomics and the accuracy and all that stuff, but cool points should factor in somewhere. And for me, it's a pro. I'm unashamedly calling it a pro, and I don't care what you have to say about it. Now a con, and I've got a gig Daniel defense on this. It didn't come perfect. There was a weak extractor spring. They fixed it immediately, so kudos for customer service. I truly believe you'll never see that problem. You won't see it. I think they're gonna fix it immediately because of no Daniel defense. However, you gotta get dinged for it, and so that right there was a con. It didn't come perfect. I've also seen in some other reviews, mainly uh, Mike of Mr. Guns and Gear, I saw he was having feeding issues as well, and I think he chalked it up to one magazine, but so it's actually really the fault of the magazine, not the gun, but I'm just saying I, I want a gun to come perfectly, especially when it comes with a uh, high price tag. I think yours will, but mine didn't. Moving on. Uh, another pro, uh, guaranteed half MOA accuracy. That's really fantastic. To guarantee half an MOA, typically you'd have to go to a custom high-end gun. Some pe it's not the only game in town. It's not the only gun where you can buy it and get half in a minute of angle accuracy in this type price range, but it's a short list. Half MOA, really, really big deal. Guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about in some of this, this is a good idea to go ahead and plug our long range class. Ryan Kleckner, an incredible real world experience sniper from Ranger Battalion, that's my old alma mater. He's a combat veteran and he literally wrote the book on long range shooting. He's on our WPSN network. So if you would like to subscribe to our network, you'll be able to see his class and he'll take you from just I don't know anything about long range to I know more about long range. <laughs> and want to oversell the class. It, it truly is an amazing class. Make sure you sign up. It, it really helps us out a lot and he will school you up. Now uh, to a second con. Bolt wiggle. I don't like the bolt wiggle. When I come back and really run that bolt, sometimes it just kind of gets hung up like that if I'm, I'm pushing in and it's not going straight uh, in. Now other folks really like that a lot, so it's really not a con to the rifle. It has more to do with my personal preference, but I want a little bit tighter tolerance at the uh, when you run the bolt back, not just when it's locked forward. All right, pro number three, barrel. It's all, with Daner Defense, it's always gonna be barrel. Cole Hammer Forge, extremely accurate. And being able to interchange barrels, and I have the thicker varmint option, the barrel is the gun. Guys, when it comes to accuracy, the barrel is the gun. It's where, if like skimp on everything else if you wanted to, but make sure the barrel is top notch, and Daner Defense always does. The barrel is a massive, massive pro. All right, the third and final con is the cost. $2,499, that is at the tippy top of what I would be willing to pay for a long range gun because I'm keeping in mind, I have a total out the door cost for, I need the gun, I want the sling, I want the bipod, that's not a big deal. But then you got the mount and then the glass. Really, really good long range shooters may tell you, you wanna spend more on the optic than the gun. It's just a general thing, but def definitely what you don't wanna do is get a really cheap optic and put it on a really good gun. It'd be better to get a really good optic and put it on a cheap gun, but at 2,500 bucks, that's not leaving me a lot of budget left over to really do a good piece of glass. I think the value is still here that I would do it, but I wouldn't be smiling when I bought it. I'd be smiling when it showed up, but not when I bought it, that's gonna hurt. Guys, this is the Daniel Defense Delta 5 Pro. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you liked it. If you don't, do it anyway and I'd appreciate it. Share the video, because Big Tech certainly isn't helping us grow anymore, and I've never experienced throttling like I have up to this moment. So I really count on your organic shares 
uh, commenting down as interaction. That really helps. Make sure you check out our WPSN network. We have all kinds of training classes, including a long range class, which is fantastic. A very high performer on our network. And we also have binge worthy shows, some news and backed up YouTube content. So when Big Tech does the final shutdown, which is coming eventually, you'll still be able to get our content. We're owning our own content with WPSN network. Guys, links are down below. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. Train hard, train smart and stay free.